Mogadiscio is situated on the Indian Ocean coast of the Horn of Africa, of Northeast Africa, in the Banadir administrative region, Kobo, in South Terster, Somalia. The region in, te in itself is coextensive with the city and is much smaller than the historical province of Venadir. The city is administratively divided into 18 districts of Abdiasis, Bondhere, Dainile, Daharkenle, Hamarjaba, Kajab. Hamarwene, Helewa, Hodan, Houn, Wadah, Karan, Sangani, Shibish, Waberi, Wadahir, Warhigley, and Sakshid. Features of the city include the Hamarwene Old Town, the Bakara Market, and Gazira Beach. The sandy beaches of Mogadiscio have brilliant coral reefs and are prime real estate for the first students resort in many years. The Sewelye River where Biga Shabele rises in central Ethiopia and comes within 30 kilometers of the Indian Ocean near Mogadiscio before turning Southwestward, usually dry, died in February and March. The river provides water essential for the cultivation of sugarcane, cotton, and bananas. For a city situated so near the equator, Mogadiscio has a relatively dry climate. It is classified as hot and semi arid as with much of, of South Terrastern Somalia. By contrast, towns in Northern Somalia generally have a hot arid climate. Mogadiscio is located in or near the tropical thorn woodland biome of the whole range global bioclimatic shem. The main temperature in the city year round in 27 degrees with an average maximum of 30 degrees and average minimum of 24 degrees mean temperature readings per month vary by 30 degrees corresponding with a hyperoceanic a subtype truly hyperoceanic continentality type participation per year average is 429 millimeters. There are 20, uh, 47 wet days annually, which are associated with a 12% annual daily probability of rainfall. The city has an average of 3066 hours of sunshine per year, with 8 and 4 hours of Sunlight per day, mean daylight hours and min minutes per day are 8 hours and 24 minutes. The percentage of possible sunshine is 70% average sun altitude and solar noon of the 21st day of the month is 75%. has its seat in Mogadiscio, the nation's capital. The traditional federal government was the internationally recognized central government of Somalia between 2004 and 2012. Based in Mogadiscio, it constituted the executive branch of government. The federal government of Somalia was established on 20 August 2012 concurrent with the end of the TFG's interim mandate. It represented the first 
permanent central government in the country since the start of the civil war. The Federal Parliament of Somalia serves as the government's legislative branch. Mogadishu's municipal government is currently led by Yusuf Hussein Jimaale, who succeeded Mayor Hassan Mohamed Hussein Munaga, a former military court chairman. Among the administration developed initiatives are 100 million dollar urban renewable project, the creation of garbage disposal and incineration plants, the launch of a citywide cleanup project, the creation of asphalt and cement plants, rehabilitation of the town hall and parliament buildings, reconstruction of the former defense ministry offices. Reconstruction of the correctional facilities, rehabilitation and construction of health facilities, establishment of a police training center and a permanent base in Yashira for the new Somali Armed Forces, rebuilding of the Somali Postal Service, headquarters and rehabilitation of public playgrounds in several districts. In January 2014, the Bednadir administration launched the host numbering and postcode system. It also began distributing national identity cards in March of the same year. In addition, the municipal authorities started renovating important local government centers in September 2014, including the capital former Fisher Guberno compound. In January 2015, the Menadir administration also opened a new health and safety office to supervise health and safety practice in the city. I launched a municipal beautification campaign ahead of various international conferences that are all slated to be held there. In March 2015, the Benadir administration completed the Zetil project in conclusion with European Union and Unhabitat. The three and a half and half million euro initiative lasted three and a half years and so the establishment in Mogadiscio of a new sustainable waste collection system, a technical training center, water quality testing laboratories, amel ameliorated access to clean drinking water, improved employment and livelihood opportunities in the low-cost fuel production sector, strengthened skills training and regulation in the construction sector, and laboratories for the testing of cost con construction material quality. A number of countries maintain foreign embassies and consulates in Mogadiscio. As of January 2014, these diplomatic missions include the embassies of Djibouti, Ethiopia, Sudan, Libya, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Iran, Uganda, Nigeria, the United Kingdom, Japan, and China, and Qatar. Embassies that are assured they are open in the city include those of Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Italy, and South Korea. In May 2015, in recognition of the socio-political progress made in Somalia and its returns to effective governance, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry announces a preliminary plan to re-establish the U.S. Embassy in Mogadiscio. He indicated that although there was no set timetable for the premises relaunch, the U.S. government had immediately begun upgrading its diplomatic representation in the country. 
President of Somalia Hassan Sheikh Mohamud and Prime Minister Omar Abdul Rashid Ali Sharmarke also presented to carry the real estate deed for land reserved for the new U.S. Embassy compound. Mohamud currently signed an established agreement with the European Union head of delegation in Somalia, Michel Ferbon Dorso, which facilitated the opening of more embassies in Mogadishu by European Union member states. The European Union also announced that it had opened a new European Union delegation office in the city. In February 2014, Somali's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Abdirahman Duale Beile, announced that the federal government was slated to reopen the former Institute of Diplomacy in Mogadishu. The center historically served as one of the most important national institutions for diplomacy and international relations. Bailey also pledged to reemblish the institute's diplomacy department. Its information at broadcasting department as well and its li library. Mogadishu traditionally served as a commercial and financial center. Before the importation of mass produced cloth from Europe and America, the city's textiles were forwarded far and wide throughout the interior of the continent, as well as the Arabian Peninsula and as far as the Persian coast. Mogadishu's economy has grown rapidly since the city's participation in mid 2011. The summer fruit processing factory was reopened once again, as well as the local Coca Cola factory, which was also refused by it. In May 2012, the first Somali bank was established in the capital, representing the first commercial bank to open in southern Somalia since 1991. The Somali civil engineer and entrepreneur Nasra Aril also opened the city's first dollar store. Additionally, the historic central bank was regenerated with the Momi Business Center likewise under construction. The galvanization of Mogadishu real estate sector was in part facilitated by the establishment of a local construction yard in November 2012 by the municipality of Istanbul and the Turkey Red Crescent, with 50 construction trucks and machines imported from Turkey. The yard produces concrete Alfa alfalfa and paving stones for building projects and entrepreneurs. The Istanbul municipality was also essential to bring in hundred specialists to accelerate the construction initiative, which ultimately aims to modernize the capital's infrastructure and serve it over the long term. In mid 2012, Mogadishu concurrently held its first event ever technology entertainment design TEDx conference. The event was organized by the First Somali Bank to solve case in problems in business, development, and security to potential Somali and international investors. A second consecutive TEDx entrepreneurial conference was held the following year in the capital, highlighting new enterprises and commercial opportunities, including the establishment of the city's first dry cleaning business in several years. 
a number of large firms also have their headquarters in Mogadishu. Among these is the Transnational Industrial Electricity and Gas Company, an energy conglomerate founded in 2010 that united five major Somali companies for the trade, finance, security, and telecommunications sectors. Other firms based in the city include Hotmood Telecom, the largest telecommunication company in Southern and Central Somalia. Telecom is another telecommunication service provider that is centered in the capital. The local Somali energy company specializes in the generation, transmission and distribution of electric power to residents and businesses within its service area Ibanadir, Villa and Madison Architects, an international architectural firm founded by the Somali British architect Alexander Yusuf. Likewise, has its regional offices in Mogadishu. Additionally, the International Bank of Somalia, which opened downtown in 2014, offered Islamic finance an international banking service via a sweet cop system. The Islamic insurance company first Takaful and Red Takaful Insurance Company was concurrently established and is the city's first full service insurance firm in many years. The Central Bank of Somalia, the National Monetary Authority, also has its headquarters in Mogadishu. In June 2013, Former Prime Minister Abdi Farah Sirdon signed a new foreign investment law. The draft bill was prepared by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry in conjunction with government attorneys. Approved by the Cabinet, it established a secure legal framework for foreign invested in Mogadishu and elsewhere in the country. In October 2014, the Fir Tawakal Money Express also began construction of the seven-story Tawakal Plaza Mogadishu. The new high-rise is slated to be completed by the end of 2015 and will feature a Tawakal Global Bank Customer and Financial Services Center, a large 330. 38 square meter supermarket, a 46-room luxury hotel, restaurant and coffee shop facilities, and conference and events halls. In addition, the Nabaa supermarket provides major retail service to local shoppers, open daily until, until 10 p.m. Convenience chains import most of its products for the United Arab Emirates and China. The Al Burui firm also launched a major real estate project in January 2015, Daru Salam City. Financed by the Salam Somali Bank, the new urban complex includes townhouses, apartments, flats, and malls, recreational areas playgrounds and supermarkets and roads. It is slated to be erected just outside the northern part of the capital, within a 7 km radius of the industrial road. Apart from the Somalis that have inhabited the city since the beginning, several minorities have also historically lived in the city. With the beginning of Islam, Arab and Persian migrants began to settle during the medieval period. Centuries of intermarriage between the various ethnic groups, which also included Bat Bantus, produces a min minority people called Ad, Ad Somali Qat Qat in the Colon period, European European expatriates 
primarily Italians, will also contribute to the city's cosmopolitan populace, following a greatly improved security situation in the city in 2012, many Somali expatriates began returning to Mogadishu for investment opportunities and to take part in the ongoing post-conflict reconstruction process through both private sports and public initiatives like the Somali Diaspora Corps. They have participated paid in the renovation of schools, hospitals, banks and other infrastructure and have played a leading role in the capital's recovery. They have also helped to propel the local real estate market. According to Demographia, Mogadishu has a population around 2 million and 400 25,000 residents as of April 2017. It is the 210th largest city in the world by popula population site. The urban area occup occupies 91 square kilometers with a population density of around 26 and 26,800 inhabitants per square kilometer. As of September 2014, the Ministry of Planning and International Cooperation is successfully to launch the first population census for Somalia is over two decades. The UNFPA assisted the Ministry in the project which is a slave to the finalized ahead of the planet, plebid site and local and national election in 2016. Among the places on worship, they are predominantly Muslim mosques. There are also Christian churches, Roman Catholic Diocese of Mogadiscio, Catholic Church, Protestant churches, evangelical churches. Arba'a Rukun Mosque is one of the oldest Islamic places of worship in the capital. It was built circa 667 concurrently with the Fakr ad Din Mosque. Arba'a Arba Rudux. Mihrab contains an inscription dated from the same year, which commemorates the Masjid late founder Kuhursa im Mubarak al Sirasi, Kuhurau im Muhammad. The mosque of Islamic solidarity was constructed in 1987 with financial support from the Saudi Fak bin Abdulazid Al Saud Foundation. It is the main mosque in the city, an iconic building in Somali society, with a capacity of up to 10,000 worshippers. It is the single largest message in the whole region. In 2015, the federal authority completed formal refurbishment of the mosque's infrastructure. The upgrades are part of a large governmental renovation campaign I met at all of the Mexic in Mogadiscio. To this end, the municipal authority is refurbishing the historic central mosque situated downtown. The Mogadiscio Cathedral was built in 1928 by the colonial authorities in Italian Somaliland, known as the Cattedrale di Mogadizio. It was constructed in a Norman Gothic style based on the, on the Cephalu Cathedral in Cephalu, Sicily. The church served as the traditional seat of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Mogadiscio. It later 
in Cure significant a match during the Civil War. In April 2013, after a visit to the site to inspect its condition, the Diocese of Mogadishu announced plans to refurbish the building. Villa Somalia is the official residential palace and principal workplace of the President of Somalia, Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed. It sits on high ground that overlooks the city in the Indian on the Indian Ocean with access to the both the harbor and airport. The Governor Palace of Mogadishu was the seat of the Governor of Italian Somaliland and then the administrator of the Truce Territory of Somalia. The National Museum of Somalia was established after independence in 1960 when the old Garesa Museum was turned into a national museum. The National Museum was later moved in 1985, renamed to the Garesa Museum and converted to the Regional Museum. After shutting down, the National Museum later reopened. As of January 2014, it holds many culturally important artifacts, including old coins, bartering tools, traditional artwork, as since web porn and pottery items. The National Library of Somalia was established in 1975 and came under the responsibility of the Ministry of Education, Culture and Higher Education. In, in 1983, it held approximately 7,000 books, little in the way of historical and, cultu and cultural archival material, and was open to the general public. The National Library later closed down in the 1990s. In June 2013, the Heritage Institute for Policy Studies organized a shipment of 22,000 books from the, from the United States to Somalia as part of an initiative to restock the library. In December of the year, the Somali authorities officially launched a major project to rebuild the National Library, with Zainab Hassan serving as director. The $1 million federal government funded in initiative will see a new library complex built in the capital within six months. In preparation for the relaunch, 60,000 additional books for other Arab language staff are expected to arrive. The National Theatre of Somalia opened in 1967 as an important cultural landmark in the national capital. It closed down after the start of the civil war in the early 1990s but reopened in March 2012 after reconstruction. In September 2013, the Somali federal government and its Chinese counterpart signed an official cooperation agreement in Mogadishu as part of a five years national recovery plan in Somalia. The pact will see the Chinese authorities reconstruct the National Theater of Somalia in addition to several other major infrastructural landmarks. Bakara Market was created in late 1972 by the Barry administration. It served as an open market for the sale of goods and services, including produce and clothing. After the start of the civil war, the market was controlled by various militant groups who used it as a base for the, their operations, following Mogadishu's pacification in 2011. Renomination resumed at the market. Shops were rehabilitated, selling everything from fruit and garments to building materials. As in the rest of the city, 
Barbara Marquez Real Estate values have also risen considerably. As on 2013, the local Tabarak firm was renting out a heavily constituted warehouse at the market for 2000 per month. In February 2014, the Manila administration began remuneration renovations at the Ansaloti Market in Hamar Jajab district. It was one of the largest markets in the city before closing down operation, operations in the early 1990s. In September 2014, the municipal authorities officially reopened the Ansaloti to the public with official supervision all parts of the market, according to the Benadir Political Affairs Vice Chairman Mohammed Adan Anahel. The facility is now open for business and will complete with other regional markets. The Regional Somali Language Academy is an intergovernmental regulating body for the Somali language in the whole region. In January 2015, President of Somalia Hassan Saeed Mohamud announced that the, that the institute was sl sl slated to be finalized in conjunction with the government of Djibouti and Ethiopia. Among the SSUL project was the construction of new headquarters for the Academy in Mogadiscio, in recognition of Somalia's traditional position as the center for the development and promotion of the Somali language. In February 2015, the foundation stone for the new regional Somali language academy was officially laid at an inauguration ceremony in the city. Mogadiscio has a, num a number of hotel, hotels, most of which were recently constituted. The city's many returning expatriated investors and foreign workers are among these establishment main customers. To meet the growing demand, hotel representatives have also begun participating participating in international industry conferences such as Africa Hotel Investment Forum. Among the new ho hotels in the sixth floor, Yazira Palace Hotel. It, it was built in 2010 and officially opened in 2012. Situated between uh, three 100 meters radius of the Adem at the International Airport. It has a 70 room capacity with a 70% occupancy rate. The hotel expects to host over 1,000 visitors by 2015, for which it plans to construct a larger overall building and conference facilities. A new landslide hotel within the airport itself is also slated to be completed by the end of the year. Other hotels in the city include the Love Wayne Palace Hotel, Amira Castle Hotel, Sahani Hotel, Hotel Nasa Hablut, Oriental Hotel, Hotel Ulet, Hotel Shamo, Peace Hotel, Arangues House, Muna Hotel, Hotel Taleh, Hotel Tofik, Benadir Hotel, Ambassador Hotel, Kubai Plaza Hotel, Safari Hotel Diplomat, Dayah Hotel, Safari Guest House, and Bin Ali Hotel. The Posh Hotel was mostly destroyed by a suicide bomber in June 2000, 
सावन तेमी